and he can get things sorted. Um, so, um, I wanted to give a quick update to people to let you know where things stand for viewer managed marketplace. Uh, we did get our first server related item deployed this past week, but we have a couple of other things that we are still waiting to deploy and it's that is going to take us out into the week after next. So that's the week of April 20th um, that we are, and I'm not giving a date and I'm not saying it's going to happen that week because you know that jinxes things, uh, that we are hoping to get the beta out. So, uh, so no new bugs are allowed, and uh, and that's where things stand. We'll definitely keep you all in the loop on that as it moves forward. Um, and Oz, I just jumped in and gave my update while we were waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to apologize in advance for my voice. You sound horrible. It, it is. It is not the viewer. It is it is my <clears throat> it is my throat. I I don't feel nearly as bad as I sound. So uh, no big speeches from you today. No big speeches. Um, <clears throat> but I will endeavor to sort of run through what we need to and answer whatever questions I can. I may revert to text at some point. Um. I put a reminder up here on the at the top of the agenda page, and it just worked because I just remembered to mention this. Um, our schedule for the next few months will not be exactly every other week because uh, I'm going to be taking some Fridays off. So we will occasionally have a one-week gap or a three-week three gap in order to avoid my summer vacations. Um, so please, I will try to keep the agenda page up to date uh, with the correct date, and I will make some effort to send out announcements on the announce list. But um, uh, our next meeting will be two weeks from today, and then I think the one after that is only a one-week gap. So... Um, I remembered to bring that up. Uh, consider that forewarning. Um, let's see, layer limits. Uh, Veer, are you here? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, why don't you bring us up to date on that, and I'll be quiet for a minute. Sure. Uh, so there's a couple of different sides to layer limits. Um, I think we've probably covered this in a previous meeting, but uh, just briefly... Um, we're, we're changing the rules a bit on wearables. We're going to allow people to wear up to a maximum of, of 60 uh, removable clothing types rather than having a, a, a set limit of how many you can wear of each particular type. Uh, it used to be you could wear five of each, um, so now you can kind of split that up however you want. Um, so there's a viewer out in RC now, the Layer Limits viewer, that has the new logic and will let you wear uh, 60 tattoos or, or whatever strikes your fancy. Um, of course, since it's not out as the uh, release viewer, uh, you know, your your appearance will still get uh, uh, munge the next time you try to uh, uh, do that in a, in a viewer that doesn't support your, uh, uh, you know, options there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Personally, I've never needed that many, but, uh, you know, kids these days. Um Let's see. So there's also going to be some uh, back-end uh, enforcement on that. The baking service is going to be updated uh, to to uh, uh, allow 60 um, maximum of 60 wearables, and uh, so that's uh, that's currently in uh, uh, internal QA um, that isn't uh, isn't visible anywhere public yet, and uh, I don't know exactly when that's going to wind up getting uh, getting released. Okay. Uh, we're, we're not looking at attachment limits currently. Um, there, there's a different uh, 
there's a different uh, viewer release I've been working on that has some bug fixes around attachments, but uh, the question of what the maximum should be isn't uh, isn't currently being uh, evaluated. I think until we get um, attachments working more reliably, which is what Beer is working on, it would be counterproductive to change the number. Be unwise overall to change the number because actually updating all the avatar attachments around you can take a significant amount of frame time already. Right. Yes. Um, it's avatars are a big part of the problem. If all of you people would just go away, Second Life would... Yeah, just get rid of the avatars. Um, okay. No, uh, it's the fact of actually having the attachments on them requires it to iterate through a giant... Uh, it has to iterate through several large recursive areas uh, down um, the octree and other things to basically update where they are in relation to animations and everything else. Right, right. Uh, one thing I left off and company just reminded me of is we have a maintenance viewer that's, uh, on the verge of being good. So if you would bring us up to date on that company, please. Sure. Um, so after some false starts and trials and tribulations, uh, the maintenance viewer appears to finally be ready to go. There was a stubborn crash that we couldn't repro that we were chasing. Um, so we ended up having to test in production <laughs> uh, where we would put in a fix and then put a viewer out to RC and wait for people to crash. It's fixed. It it the URI parser crash? Yes, it was the URI parser you crash. You are doing which... pointer math wrong there. There's an out of it's bounds fixed. right. No more. Nope. There's still pointer math errors. Um. I have not well, seen it, a single stack of that crash in the crash browser, so there might it, be You wouldn't issues. notice it unless you were actually testing for memory uh, issues. Uh, okay, no no fair making assertions not supported by evidence. I, 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 uh, so, file a bug, give us evidence. Or, okay. or a patch. Jim hates me right now, though. It won't allow me to create any bugs. Well, Bitbucket I, won't hate you. Put it in Bitbucket. Okay, uh, I, I can do that. Make a, make a patch. I, I tried four different web browsers, and Jira won't let me make any bugs. Well, it works for everybody else. Um, but so Bitbucket it, it, would it be fine. It probably does actually hate you, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, give, give me ten minutes. It'll it'll appear on Bitbucket. Okay, thanks, Sovereign. Um, all right. Um, so, that one is actually going out, uh, and really the only thing that changed was that crash fix. Uh, I just didn't want to update the same people every day uh, with the new build. Um, so that's going out. Uh, it has a gazillion awesome fixes uh, and probably a few less awesome bugs that we haven't caught yet. Uh, but my fingers are crossed. Uh, there's a lot of crash fixes. Uh, the URI parsing is actually going to look good and useful again. Uh, apologies for delaying that for so long, but um, there it is. Okay, and then probably next behind that in the pipeline will be the tools update viewer. Um, I got some very good help from Drake on uh, last minute problems and testing with that. I think we've really got it working now. It's going into QA later today. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get it, we'll get it going. So, um, and at that point, you know, all of our processes internally will have to change for building viewers. And if you merge them, you'll need the new tools too. Um, uh, our build number is just generated by a server that generates unique numbers. That's what it does. It, we just lucked uh, out with the last few. And it, it, and it tracks everything that was associated with each number that it generates. It's a, 
it's a, a, a more elaborate system than it needs to be, but it, it does do the job very well. Um, so we can, we can go from a, from a build number to everything that went into it. Um, which is kind of a nice capability to have. Uh, let's see. Um, We have the viewer managed marketplace update already. Experiences. Um, we think we're making good progress on the back end issues with experiences. So uh, there's actually hope that those will get out one of these days. Um, and that's uh, in flight. Let's see. Other stuff on my list. I think that's pretty much it. So the floor is open. Um, bug, let me just put it in local here. Uh, snapshots posted to Facebook at current window size are terrible quality. There's uh, the fix. And I, I would appreciate all my credits in the contributors list and everything else because it's a really big change set. <laughs> Yeah, except that, except that a link to your repo doesn't count as a contribution, only a link to... Yeah, you're not to. really going to make me like do a whole bit, but it's a zero. <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. And I'm just joking about contributions. And, and I believe that change set is probably small enough that it could be slipped in without, you know, having to worry about licensing yes, and stuff. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> That's a great commit comment. <laughs> it's it's a huge commitment that massive. Uh, okay, thank you. I will uh, I'll keep that tab open so that we can get that fixed. Um, we are currently testing uh, an update to the back end of the SL Share interface to Facebook. Uh, but there should be no user visible difference um, when we when we roll that out. Yeah. Facebook um, Facebook changed Facebook the API. Facebook changed their API. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. So except change. Uh, we're we're working on that. Stock up on popcorn. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't a fake cry. Uh, it'll mean I won't be able to stay current once we uh, move up to the new uh, uh, tool stuff. <clears throat> On at least one machine here. Uh, other other topics. So, um, what's the status of the firestorm? release process and that's, that's a really good much, question how much of all this do you think you're <laughs> going to try to get in before you uh, well what we have now um which doesn't include obviously anything that you're releasing uh forward of now um so right now i'm writing as we speak a blog post um inviting uh, new people to our preview group. We're going to get a beta build out um, hopefully this weekend to our beta testers. If that goes well with no blockers, we're going to publish that to our preview group, let that run for a week. Then we'll almost definitely have another build to go to preview group. We'll let that run for a week. Um, so we'll probably be about three weeks, our next release. And then you can start working on integrating viewer managed marketplace and all the other stuff. Yeah. I, I would love to have gotten viewer managed marketplace into this build, but um, the timing is just off. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Just plan on a quick follow rather than a, another six months. Well, we would generally average three months in the past year or so. But um, with this latest merge, uh, with everything from you guys, it's slowed us down. Uh, 
add the fact that Jess doesn't want to release too quickly because uh, support would rage on her. Um, Morley, we have had some discussion of the HTTP disabled inventory issues internally. I, I don't have a good feel for how heavy the load has been that support has been handling. Izzy, do you know? Yeah, sorry, as I was typing as you were talking. Um, we haven't gotten all that many up on my team, um, but I'll see if I can check with Maggie to see how much uh, the scouts have um, uh, received, because that could, would probably be a much better indicator. Right, we're going to get the corresponding viewer change out quickly, so... Yeah, this release will have that removed from Firestorm. Uh, and in fact, we're going to be forcing anyone who has turned it off in the past, um, when they install this next update of Firestorm, it'll be forced on. So we shouldn't have to deal with um, any people on the new and latest version of Firestorm dealing with uh, no inventory. Uh, are, are you planning to sweep out the old UDP inventory code uh, when you remove the option? Uh, at, at some point, yeah. Um, not instantly, but um, weeks, months. Yeah, weeks or months. Probably more likely months, but we'll see. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, we're 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 making a bunch of changes to make inventory more robust, and. Uh, one piece of those changes is to reduce the number of code paths we have to test. Uh, so, alternatives are bad. Mm. Can we just reset all preferences to default and get rid of that? Well, in the viewer code, we'll just take the code that reads the preference and does something different based on it out. Um, but at some point, we will no, also... I mean all of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's different. Yes, we could. <laughs> uh, it's software. We can do anything we want. Um, Uh, other topics of interest. <clears throat> um, I have nothing else. The only one I had was the uh, HTTP inventory issues that uh, we're seeing come up in support. I was going to bring that up with Izzy, but uh, that's already been handled. So, just to be sure, once you tell people to turn HTTP inventory back on, things normalize, right? There are no leftover issues. Yep. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, we would have liked to have uh, done a bit more warning for this, but oops. Yep. Like Worley said, flip the setting and relog, and no more problem. Uh, that's HTTP textures, Annie. Yeah, we have a we have a, a set of changes coming to voice, um, some of which are connection issues, but uh, it did not survive its first attempt to get through QA. So, 
Yeah, is he just their inventory doesn't load and they don't res. They remain a cloud for themselves. Okay, got it. That's what I thought you were saying, but I also have a couple of uh, inventory crash issues that I'm currently in the process of escalating, and I just wanted to see if I could find a common denominator. One one thing, by the way, we've been discussing this uh, quite a bit internally. One thing to uh, remind people of, we're having problems with especially login problems or startup problems with uh, very large inventories. If they have big, flat inventory folders, a folder that has many things at the same level, whether they're subfolders or individual items, and here I'm talking thousands, um, that's really, really hard on the way we do. Uh, right. I'm not really sure. Just how big a number it needs to be to cause a problem depends on how fast your system is. Um, and to a lesser extent on how fast your network is. Um, but uh, having really, really big flat folders like that is terrible. Um, so tell people to divvy them up. Um, well, make subfolders. There's a 10K limit on... Uh... A folder. Period, uh, wasn't that removed as in, as it's shown? It, there, there's not a limit enforced anywhere uh, at this point. No, but there was a uh, th there was a limit if you had over 10k in a, in a flat in, in a single folder that it would only display the first 10k. If I remember they correctly, they fixed that with AIS three. Yeah, we took that out. And even then on the server, it still actually had more than 10k there, which was very terrible. Yeah, so um, you, you basically, you know, make subfolders and push things down so that you don't have thousands of things all in one, at one level in the tree. Um, that will, that will cause... A variety, the symptoms, there are a variety of symptoms, up to and including not being able to log in. Because um, what happens is that the viewer gets bogged down trying to process all of those as a single chunk. It, it tries to read each level as a single operation, and it can't do anything until it's finished processing them all, and it does an unfortunate amount of processing on each one. And... Uh, what ends up happening is it times out, stops talking to the simulator, times out, and the simulator kicks you out. So um, don't do that. Uh, we are looking at some things to do about that, um, both viewer side and elsewhere, but uh, we can't do anything much about the fact that people already have lots and lots and lots of things in their inventory. and. There are ways that you can end up with lots of things at one level in your inventory, like all of a region getting returned into lost and found or something like that. Um, I, I don't think that with modern viewers, that is especially ones based on uh, that use HTTP inventory and that have the new LL Core HTTP inventory fetching that nested that deep nesting is going to be a problem in fact i think it's going to be really good uh what i've noticed with inventory uh stalling issues on login is um it's taking so much time to allocate all of the objects needed for the folder view uh and the memory right. thereof it can it will just stall the lo login process long enough to time it out Right, right, and and there's there's probably a really interesting project for somebody to look at that viewer code and do something more intelligent, um, and uh, it will probably be a really cool project. Um, I don't have anybody working on that part of it yet, uh, but it's. Um, 
that that would actually be an interesting interesting one to work on. Whether, whether or not that will rise to the top of the stack of things to do or not, I don't. I don't know. We have we have a lot of interesting projects possibly happening. We had we had somebody who had over a hundred thousand items in one one folder level. Ouch! <clears throat> that, that suffice to say that didn't that didn't work very well. I should really really stop sticking everything in the top level folders in my inventory. <laughs> yep. You one really day. really should. One day when I when I actually have the patience to try to organize it. Wow, 750k. <clears throat> So this is this is one of those cases where if you're nicely organized, it's not a problem. Okay, other other topics. Starting to look like you're gonna get to rest your voice a lot. And I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, in that case we'll switch to a social hour. Have a good weekend. Yay. Have a good I'm one, Austin. Awesome. Rest that my voice. Giant library rebuild. Have yes, everybody weekend, have a great weekend. I'm going to DC for the cherry blossom festival. Oh, Thank oh, oh! Actually, actually, Oz, there was something that I was going to ask about. When filing abuse reports, uh, there's been some changes on the on the list of things that list of categories in the abuse file. I can field that one, Oz. By all means, do. Because I was completely unaware of it. Oh, I haven't seen the, the change or anything like that, although I know it's changed a few times uh, um, in the past few years and such. But honestly, just pick whatever is the closest to whatever applies. If they've changed it, it's because either they've needed to add a few things or, more specifically, they're trying to condense things uh, to make it more manageable. Yeah, I can understand that, but the, they took one, uh, actually they took a couple out on that one that were really kind of important. They took out the other as well as um, underage avatars in adult regions. And the other is actually beneficial to have the other subcategory in there. That's actually beneficial. No, I understand how other can be useful. The problem is it was being used by lots of people that didn't want to take the time to find what category it should go in, so it became fairly unusable. Ah, now that's understandable, but, but the 
underage avatars in adult regions, that one is actually, that seems put, like it, it shouldn't put, have been moved. The thing is, is put that in age, age play. The problem is there isn't anything that says um, an avatar of X size isn't allowed in an adult region. It's the age of the user that matters unless age play is actually what's going on in case, in that case, there is actually a, a place for that. Okay. And the reason I was mentioning, bringing this up is because it was mentioned in the beta testers group recently. Right, I think. Now, I'm not positive of this, but I believe the reason why that's not there anymore is it sort of gave people ammunition to where if they saw a small avatar, obviously that's not allowed because, look, there's an abuse report category for it. Okay, that's understandable, but then that kind of throws people, that those of us that use the pity avatars into that category as well. Right, but but now that it's not there, it doesn't throw you into that category. Now, specifically, the only one that's really there is the age age play one. Hmm, interesting. So, anything that would really be a violation would fit into that category, whether it be the appearance or the activity that they're doing. Yeah, that would be my surmise as a former law enforcement officer. That would be the way I would look at it. Yeah, so I think they were trying to, number one, pull away uh, from the just because this avatar is small, therefore it must not be allowed, and also trying to condense things down so that way the right team is getting the right reports. With so many different vague uh, fields, it was starting to get really complicated for them. Again, that's something that's understandable. Anything else you guys need? That was what I needed to know. Um, okay, I'm going to run before Ed says something. Uh, well, <laughs> actually, you just laugh at me anyhow for what I'm going to say. Yes, yeah, so if I needed anything, all I need is a winning lottery ticket. So you should talk to your team and tell them to set up a fund me site for you, Ed. Uh, yeah, okay. That's not a bad idea. Fund my lottery habit. Well, no, just fund my new computer. Fund my SL habit. I won $50 from one of those little scratchy lottery tickets yesterday. I was in a good mood. Oh, you did good. I played this character for life. I used to do pretty good, actually. I paid a dollar for it, too. Okay, Jess, so I'm asking you formally to set up an Ed Henry Disaster Relief Fund. Or Ed Merriman Disaster Relief Fund, whichever you prefer. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a good one. Thanks. My pleasure. Uh, matter, thanks, fact, uh, matter of fact, I actually got a 30, 32 inch television for my birthday yesterday. And just, uh, hope I, here uh, I am. Uh, Ed, did you, uh, did, um, Thoth Anibus contact you? Who? About the clock. I'll take that as a no, then. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and I, I pointed them to Frank. Okay, because he's... actually created it. In the process of typing a message to me. Yeah, I told him to talk to Frank. Frank was the creator of the clock, and uh, I can't, uh, sorry, it was given to us to put it the way it is. Uh, I can't pass him a full perm copy without uh, uh, Frank's permission. And, uh, yeah, I, I've got a minute to look at the clone region now, if you want. Okay, I'll meet you over there, then. Um, send me a port? Yep, well, so. Later, folks. And poof. Later, Ed. Have a good night, or a good day, whatever. You as well, Jessica. Thanks, Annie, you too. We... Sorry, I'm just so busy right now. It's okay, Jessica. I'm still kind of in awe of having a 32-inch screen TV for computer monitor for my birthday. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here before Command Cupcake runs over me with his avatar. <laughs>